Uh, the American Civil Liberties Union has uh, 300 members, it says here. Yes. But uh, elsewhere in this actual document about civil liberties and civil rights, it says they have 500,000 members. <laughs> Could you tell me, um, is it 300,000 or 500,000? Because <laughs> I know they like these to be factual, and maybe they added 200,000 from the time you, you wrote uh, Chapter 1 and Chapter 2. <laughs> But why don't we count the actual members of the American Civil Liberties uh, Organization? <laughs> they are involved in both civil rights and civil liberties. Now, I emailed them about the issuance of uh, court orders. Yes. Where I wasn't given any due process. <laughs> now, let's say you're a member of the ACLU and you're a paying member. <laughs> Well, let's count the actual members of the ACLU for the last 40 years. I'd like to know how much they paid to be a member. <laughs> and then there's, oh, your dues-paying organization. Pow! <laughs> now, when I emailed them, I emailed them a copy of RI.PDF. I emailed numerous civil rights and civil liberties organizations. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I need to know the actual number of members of the ACLU. <laughs> I thought I had some real good lawsuits that I'm being obstructed from filing. Pooey! <laughs> some good ones. <laughs> now, get me the actual income of the ACLU, the identities, the email addresses, the luxury vehicles, and any private uh, aircraft ownership. Yes. Now, my thought is when you have knowledge of civil rights violations and civil liberties violations, you know, you have knowledge of kidnapping, fraud, ah, forgery. <laughs> you as a as a membership organization are personally liable for the knowledge that you have. <laughs> now I know usually somebody has to ACL you, you to represent them, but I'm thinking of employing private attorneys to sue the ACL you right now.